cans and bottles. There was a story in the newspapers recently about a couple called John and Anne Tilt. They live near a town called Petersfield in southeast East England. And earlier this year, they got married. They wanted to go on a honeymoon to the United States after the wedding. The difficulty they had was that it was going to cost too much. They could not afford it. The cost of their air fares, of hotels and travel and car hire while they were in America, all these things were too expensive. What could they do? Then they saw that their local supermarket had started a scheme to encourage people to recycle cans and bottles. Five every four cans are bottles that you returned to the recycling center at the supermarket. The supermarket would give you one reward point. What is a reward point? Well, some supermarkets, garage, uh, garage, garages, I think, and other shops give their customers reward points every time they buy things at the shop concerned. You can collect these reward points, and when you have enough, you can exchange them for, for example, a weekend break in a country hotel or a new M33 player. I have been collecting reward points from my local supermarket for years soon. I will have enough to get a, an electric toaster. Mr. I decided to collect cans and bottles and take them to the recycling center for three months. They went out every evening looking for cans and bottles. At first, they thought that they might not be able to find enough. But they were amazed by the amount of rubbish that people throw away. In the streets, in their gardens, or other people's gardens, in the parks, and in the countryside. John Till told the newspapers, there was enough rubbish out there to fry us to the moon and back. John and Anne spent hours putting cans and bottles into the machines at the recycling center. Eventually, they found enough cans and bottles and collected enough reverse points to pay for their airfare to America, where I am sure they had a wonderful honeymoon and went to lots of interesting places. Are you thinking to yourself that a nice heartwarming story about two people who wanted to do what they could to help the environment? I am afraid that I, I do not feel that way for three reasons. First, as I told you in an earlier podcast, we in England are really bad at recycling. We are better than a few years ago but many countries in Europe recycle a lot more domestic waste than we do. On the other hand, we are very good at throwing things away and generally making a mess. We throw away newspapers in the street and on the buses. We throw away food packaging and beer cans in the parks and plastic bags and bottles in the countryside. John and Anne were able to collect all those cans and bottles only because other people had so carelessly thrown them away. And the idea that it is good to pay people to recycle things is still very new in Britain. In other countries in Europe, it is normal to return cans or bottles to the supermarket and to get money in return. In Germany and Scandinavia, they have done this for years, but in Britain, we are only starting to experiment with them. John and Anne were lucky. Their local supermarket was one of only a handful of places where they pay you to res uh, recycle things. And finally, what did John and Anne do with the rewards points, which they got for all those cans and bottles? They bought air tickets to America. Unfortunately, 
at Terrell's journalists large amounts of carbon dioxide, the main gas responsible for climate change. Trying to be green.